You look at the voting uh, population right now. You never heard the PUP and UDP advocate for redistricting. I'm actually one of the litigants in the case that's taking the government to court because um, there's not no fair elections here. Um, it's not because you look at um, uh, like Fort George, and you know, I ran in Fort George last time, and many people did not still do not understand why I ran there. And I ran there to show the people the difference in constituencies. Yesterday, I drove 126 miles to go to the village of Dolores, and that's only in Toledo East. I can walk across almost every division in Belize City in a half an hour. So it's not fair, and that was the reason why I went there. And that's the difference between our party, the PNP, and the PUP and the UDP. I mean, right now, Mr. Sabino is the chair. I know they say you should call him, but he's a public servant of the Elections and Boundaries Commission. And when you look at the challenges in Toledo East, it's like you wonder what these people at the Elections and Boundaries are doing. Because year after year, and if you go back to your archives, you will find out, you will see where I have been advocating for fair elections for decades and at least fair voter so that the people could have an easy way to vote. Right now, as we speak today, next Wednesday, the voters from Santana Village will have to go through San Felipe Village, through Jacinto, past a polling station in Forest Home to get to a polling station in uh, Catalan so they can vote. That's ridiculous. What are these people doing at elections and boundaries? That's me. The commission is made up of PUP and UDP, and they have no intention of changing it. It seems like the mouth of the Timash, which I'm sure you know, you, you know, Chief mm -hmm. and Troy, is only two miles from the polling station in, in Barranco. Yet the people living at the mouth of the Timash have to go 30 miles upstream to Cricket Circle. Come on. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. But you see what happened. That's where the big parties come in because they can afford to charter a bus to bring their, their, their voters, their so-called voters. And when they, on that bus, money is given out, food is promised, all kinds of things takes place there. That is wrong and that is what we are fighting to stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there. I'm not making this up. You can call. You can, I want people to fact check when we speak. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so that you could see that it is absolute bogus what's taking place over there at the Elections and Boundaries Commission. I mean, it just don't make any sense.